international recording artist and Dove and Stellar Award winning gospel great, Helen Baylor, shared her courageous life story in the song, Helen's Testimony. She later penned her autobiography in the book, No Greater Love, The Helen Baylor Story. Now Miss Baylor has teamed up with award-winning filmmaker Cassandra Hollis to produce a feature film based on her life entitled, A Praying Grandmother, The Helen Baylor Story. The story begins in 1957 in Tulsa, Oklahoma, when at age four, Helen's parents sent her to live with her paternal grandparents for a while. Helen was a bright, adventurous child who loved to sing, but something happened to her between the ages of four through six that took her years to recover from. By age seven, Helen returned to her parents and they soon moved to California. The 1960s rolled then, and Helen was inspired by the Motown sounds and all the popular groups of the time. She became a teen singing sensation at 13 with a hit song that played on the radio. She was an opening act for such legendary acts as B.B. King, Aretha Franklin, and Stevie Wonder. Helen became a teen mother at 16, but didn't let that stop her dreams. The start of the 1970s, it was showtime for Helen. She joined the cast of the Broadway hit Hair as part of the West Coast Tribe. It was also during that time that she tried drugs for the first time. Helen was hooked. Throughout the 70s, as her R&B career was on the rise, singing back up for the likes of Shaka Khan and Captain Tennille, Helen was on a downward spiral. She would do anything to maintain her drug addiction. But she had a praying grandmother. Many years passed, but Grandma Hudson never stopped praying for Helen. One day, when Helen was knocking on deaf doors, Grandma Hudson's prayers finally broke through. 